Okay, so we're talking about the A locus, and what I have today is, this is Laverne, and she is a chestnut, uh, Holland Lop. Now, a chestnut is, is basically full color, and, and, and so, and she's curious about everything right now, um, but I wanted to show you briefly of how we know, although we, we've memorized the chestnut and we can recognize the chestnut as, as a chestnut um, color, um, we know that she's an agouti based on that color. We don't have to really technically do a test, but for learning how to identify your rabbit properly, it, this is a great way to, to, to determine that. And I'm going to see if I can get her to hold still for me. Her hair is just ridiculous. Let's see if I can. Now you can see the bands of color. We have a dark gray with a little bit lighter mid band. Her hair just likes to lay back down. <laughs> on me. Um, but you can see that that there are three bands of color to her hair. And I'm going to try to pull this back a little bit to show that. You can kind of see the bands. There's a dark gray band. I know, sweetheart. I know. She's all interested. Um, there's banding there in the hair shaft, dark gray is an undercoat, then we have a mid band, and then we have some ticking on the outer ends of the hairs. Okay, this is a classic example of a chestnut. Okay, a lot of chestnuts will also have this orangish color right behind the head. Okay, they'll have a rather coppery, you know, copper, cinnamon, all those kind of colors can all kind of fall into a chestnut. Uh, color. You'll you'll note uh, also that she doesn't have any white on her. Okay, she she she's she has a little bit there under her chin, but that's not really going to count. And the pads of her feet are, are obviously white, but but she is considered a chestnut. Okay, she's a sweetheart. We love her to death. Um, she's always interested and fun to play. Uh, and ready to come out all the time. So that is a, a chestnut, okay? If you'll hang on just a second, I'll grab another one. Okay, so what I've gone and done, I've gone and I've gotten a a blue otter here. Now, she's being kind of difficult this morning. This is a Netherland dwarf. Uh, you'll notice on the otters, they have a white belly, okay? She has a white belly. She's got white inside the ears. You can all see a, a little bit of color behind the head. And the biggest one that I always look for is right there under the chin. She has, if you'll hold still, sweetheart, it's okay. If you look here, she has um, white right under the mouth and right up along the jaw. Now, Netherlands are... are a lot of fun. There's a lot of colors in Netherland, but you can look right there and get a good view of of what what she looks like. Uh, otters are, again are less dominant than a goody. They do um, they do um, uh, they're more they're more dominant than self. Um, she's a lot of fun. I love these Netherlands more than than many of the others that we have, but she's a, a really nice looking girl. We really like having her. Um, but this is a good example of an otter. Now, she's blue, but you can have black. Another sign of otters, and even martens, is you'll see this, this ticking on the ends of the hairs about halfway up the sides. Um, that, that is another good indication of an otter. Uh, in Martins, you'll see that pretty often. Uh, she's a real sweet gal, and she's a good mama. So, 
but she's one of the, my favorites to work with and you know obviously why I brought her out is because she she does such a good job um, for handling and and is just really sweet so um, that's an example of an otter again remember it's going to be inside the ears you'll even have some color around the eye and then down here under the chin and in a white belly okay and lastly I want to talk about selfs this is a mini lop okay she's one of my retired uh, grand champions and she's a sweetheart she's she's almost uh, shoot she's almost uh, seven years old um, but she's a sweetheart we love having her she's a major couch potato but when we're talking about the genetics you'll notice she's a solid color this is this is blue she is a blue and she has no white on her okay uh, she um, she is one solid color uh, this is a great example of a self okay and so when we talk about selfs this is what we do um, there are other colors that fall under self but for the purposes of genetics and color genetics we're not going to talk about those things um, we're going to get into the sable points and things later and I'll show you examples of that and how that color is modified uh, but she's a real wonderful gal um, and that is an example of a self okay you also notice there's no no color there she the hair shafts are different if you look here which she hands hold still for just about anything we don't see any banding of color or anything like that she has a, a dove gray undercoat and is just well well done she just she's just a sweetheart um, she's again retired but that is an example of self okay um, just so that you can get an idea for what we're talking about when we're talking about a goodies tans and selves okay uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the uh, the videos uh, we're going to be doing an entire series on this we're going to be doing the bee locust next and we'll talk a little bit about uh, what those entertain and determining whether or not your choc uh, rabbit is chocolate based or whether it is black based and hopefully Toby will get all his energy out for right now and then we'll we'll have somebody else playing on the next one all right thanks for watching